Hi, this is LC Cinema. Today I want to introduce to you the continuity error I found in the movie and why Kubrick deliberately made them. For copyright reasons, I will show it in the form of pictures. To make it easier for you to understand, please turn on subtitles. The place where continuity errors appear the most is the rainbow fashion. At night, at the entrance of rainbow fashion, the hairstyle and posture of the male model are obviously different from those of the daytime. The models in the window at night are different from those in the day. A shelf for shirts at night, but leather shoes during the day. The lamp disappeared during the day and the counter has changed position. We followed Bill into the showroom and through the doorway we could see two models, one of them wearing a blindfold mask. After entering the door, pay attention to the model in the red circle. At this time, she did not hold an umbrella in her hand. We followed Bill in and we could see that the position of the blindfold woman and the light on her body had changed. The model around her has also changed. After editing, the umbrella girl appeared next to the blindfold woman. At this time, she was holding an umbrella in her hand and her body is not lighted up. In the background, the position of the kimono girl has also changed. After editing again, the light on the umbrella girl changed. The men and women in the background moved a short distance to the right. The next day Bill returned to the store. Through the doorway, we could see the umbrella girl. With the umbrella head facing up, she is holding the middle of the umbrella. There are many continuity errors like this. After Alice smoked marijuana, the CD box changed after editing. The maid of the Bill's house is called Roz, and the maid of the Marie's house is called Rosa. When Marie's boyfriend entered the door, there was no phone at the arrow pointing. When Bill called Marie's house, the phone appeared. Bill went to Domino's house twice and the Christmas tree had obviously changed. In Domino's apartment, the stuffed tiger is rotated in the opposite direction after Bill takes a phone call from Alice. A football game was shown on the TV in the Sonata Cafe, which was the same game that Bill watched at home. The reflection of the glass door of Rainbow Fashion tells us that Rainbow Fashion is across from the Sonata Cafe, and Bill took a taxi from Sonata Cafe to Rainbow Fashion. Bill went to the mansion twice. The first time he took a taxi, and the second time he drove his Land Rover. Both times he passed the same bridge, but when he arrived at the mansion, the direction was the opposite. A sign was inserted at the entrance of the mansion, which read Summerton, and the sign changed its position after editing. Bill enters the mansion, and after editing, the decorations on the door disappear. The Christmas tree in Bill's clinic has a clear difference between day and night. During the day, Bill entered the restaurant next to Sonata Cafe to inquire about Nightingale's information. After editing, the decoration was blocked by cardboard. Mailboxes with the same graffiti on the street appear in different places. Bill came to Helena's bedroom. After editing, the bear's position changed. Bill enters the kitchen and the TV Alice used to watch disappears. The newspaper and an end table disappear in the billiard room scene while Mr. Ziegler is talking to Bill. The same taxi with a license plate of 7 meters 96 appears multiple times in the movie. Bill goes to Marie's house in this taxi. The taxi that drove in front of him when he met Domino. The taxi that Bill took when he went to Rainbow Fashion. The taxi that Bill took to the mansion, the taxi Bill wanted to ride when he was being followed. The taxi that Bill took when he went to Domino's for the second time. Their license plates are all 7M96. The taxi license for going to the hospital at night is 5W57. And Bill's taxi license during the day is 7P94. So it's not because of the budget that there is only one taxi, but Kubrick deliberately used one taxi several times. As we all know, Kubrick is a perfectionist. He has extremely precise control of the details in the picture. I don't think he will make so many continuity errors. 
According to the content in the documentary Film Worker, I know that during the shooting of The Shining, in order to make the ice cream in Danny's bowl look the same, the crew used five gallons of chocolate ice cream. The original book of Eyes Wide Shut is called Dream Story by Arthur Schnitzler. I think Kubrick wants to create a dream by continuity errors. Because the things in the dream come from real life but the dream does not conform to the logic of reality, so things will appear and disappear. And things that appear in reality will also appear in dreams. To analyze the dream, we need to use Carl Jung's theory and Freud's theory. According to Kubrick's interview, he likes Jung very much, his co-writer in Full Metal Jacket. Michael Hare once said this uh, he called me a couple of nights later to ask me if I'd read any Jung. I had. Was I familiar with the concept of the shadow or hidden dark side? I assured him that I was. We did half an hour on the shadow and how he really wanted to get it into his war picture. Young several important concepts appear in Eyes Wide Shut. 1. The Shadow Young status the shadow to be the unknown dark side of the personality. According to Young, the shadow, in being instinctive and irrational, is prone to psychological projection, in which a perceived personal inferiority is recognized as a perceived moral deficiency in someone else. One scene, Bill and Alice reads a poem with Helena. The book they are reading is My Shadow by Robert Louis Stevenson. The shadow concept is hidden in the movie. 2. The persona, the persona, or mask, is the outward face we present to the world. It conceals our real self and Jung describes it as the conformity archetype. This is the public face or role a person presents to others as someone different to who we really are, like an actor. The orgy scene, everybody wears a mask, it's Jung's persona concept. Bill has the following persona, father, husband, doctor, consumer. Thanks for watching. This is the end of this video. If you want to see more of my analysis about Eyes Wide Shut, please leave a message. And a thumbs up will help me creating more content.